All right, friends, welcome back. Welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Our job is to get to the embassies, so we're going to go there. Um, we're supposed to go north. New waypoint added, Market Street. Open the map. Oh, cool. So, yeah, there's actually a really good um, map. It's very, very nice, actually. I got to say, like, like, there's things about this game which are fantastic, and I got to say the environments and kind of the 3D modeling are really good. You know, again, I know it's a small studio, and I can't, harm it for that, but man, I really wish the character models were just a, a wee bit better, but I, I understand, like, the budgetary up, limitations, of course. Swearing in. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought here I'd be able to get a side quest already. That's me playing my RPG stuff. So it goes north and goes south. I think Gorham's gonna say the same thing. Lord Karen said not to bother you yet. Yet? Yeah, everyone's so English, yeah? Oh my god. Alright, um, th this true north is here. I guess these are stairs? This is north and then west, so it's not quite right. I think that's the objective. Okay, so I think we're going right. And it'll tell us if we're in the right direction anyway. Yeah, see, I gotta say, like, the environments are really nice. Like, it's really well done. I really like the vibe of it. It's really clean without being too, um... This place is magnificent. I don't want to ruin the, uh, the conversation here. Right, Spock. That's the mayor, okay. And we need to go west over here. So this is obviously the Sunblaze Court, I think. Yep, that's the Sunblaze Court. That's where we needed to be. That's good. I'm assuming these are all going to have quests for us at some point. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. I mean, the tree modeling is beautiful, the way it sways in the breeze. Like, it's really, really good looking. And, um, man, I, like, if, if the gameplay and, and the story and the questing is anything like this, I think I'm going to be spending hours with this title. It really, really looks nice. All right. So there we are. And then we need to go there. Okay, good. We got there the first try. Our face is so pleasant. I'm glad he's actually nice. I never thought I'd get so close to the embassies. We found it. We didn't get lost. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Zing. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? Empties her chamber pot. <laughs> Such a prick. We're too low for her. No, nah, the face is going to do the talking here so don't insult anybody. Keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess. Well, the Doesn't talk. she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper. There we go. Is trusted by all. Much better. Lord Karen. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? Oh, damn, she's seen My some shit. Keen, oath keeper of the council. Yeah, she has seen Quiet, some shit. And I will be administering no one's talking. your vows. Once Wait. sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you? Each and all. No one raises so their right hand. <laughs> oh, no one caught that one. To carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I, I swear. swear. Oh, there we go. Good. All right. Excellent. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> deputies. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. You're expecting a parade? <laughs> I yes, I'm what sorry. What were you expecting? A parade? No, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know. <laughs> sorry, that was too the good. I like how he's a smart ass. Outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. Ruh -roh. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. Fucking Henrik ominous. Or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The council wants a first hand report. Harsh, bruh. Um, what about him? What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer. More than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. 
What about the marches? Wait, these marches. They're not in the bad. Isn't the whole point of us being here to go to the badlands? The marches are a no man's land between the civilized world and the badlands. Ah, okay, gotcha. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the badlands. We wouldn't send you in there yet. <laughs> All right. We're good to go. Right. I guess that's that. It's on to Kerlem. Relation improved. Okay. There you go. The five council factions. Oh, shit. There's five. Wow. All right. Uh, have representatives in Karakithlan. They can sell you equipment, spells, and many other things. To better your relations with the faction, well, they have to offer and lower their prices. However, they are in competition, of course. It means you can't please them all. Various subquests will give you opportunities to improve your relations with one faction or another. Keep an eye on the faction section of the journal. Okay. Press the map button to open a location map. When a waypoint has been found, you need to fast travel to another place in the location. For now, use it to fast travel to return to the Gravekeeper's Cask. Hey, I didn't stumble over that this time. Yeah, do we level up? Bullshit, really? Did we just level for... Holy crap, we leveled. <laughs> I only got 50. Well, fuck you all. I guess we all leveled at least. Uh, Alright, we're gonna fast travel then, yeah? And do what it tells us for now. Uh, Gravekeeper's Cask, there we go, yep, go there. Yays, yays. Woohoo! Dun 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 Yeehoo! What the hell am I supposed to do? Ah, there you go, level up! I must take a long rest, head back to the Gravekeeper's Cask to speak to Corel, the owner. They had to get a room while you're staying in town. You use the map's fast travel function to turn there quickly. Okay, we did that already, so we know to talk to Corel, alright. What up, bro? Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Do you have weird accent, man? Your beard tastes bad. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's Tell be nice first. Your tavern, the inn. Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here. That's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat. Look how the elves have an American accent. Knight, a lord. A beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Your beer is terrible, and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined. Zing. Enough. All right. We'd like to stay for the night. I thought I would sure. lead to a question or something. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. <laughs> I thought that beer thing would go somewhere. All right. Wow. Okay. So now we level up. Let's level up. Go to all hippos and have your hit dice maximum. All right. Now a level two paladin. All right. Ten hit points. Oh, do we not roll for hit points? We just get... We just get an extra 10. Really? Okay. Nice. And I have 2d10 hit dice. Good. Unlock class features. Divine Smite. When you hit a creature with a melee weapon, you can spend one spell slot to deal additional... Wow. That's cool. 2d8 Radiant. Plus 1d8 per slot level above first. And plus 1d... Wow, this could be... Fucking potent. Wow. Choose a fighting style as a specialty. Well, it's going to be sword and board, I'm pretty sure. Um, and paladin can cast spells. Well, no kidding. Fighting style. All right. Gives specific advantages using combat techniques and equipment. Some character classes are granted a secondary fighting style. Okay, this is neat. I don't, I'm not sure if this is in 5 I'm not that familiar with 5e. So, yeah. So what, what is all this? I don't think duelings can do it. We have melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons. Plus two bonus to damage rolls. Interesting. Great weapon. I don't have a great weapon right now. When you roll a one or two on a damage die for an attack you make with a melee weapon, you're wielding two hands, you can re-roll. That's pretty strong. Uh, you must use a new roll even if it's a one or two. It must have two-handed or versatile property. Is this versatile? I think the longsword is versatile, actually. Could be neat. Defense, gain plus one bonus to AC. That's kind of lame. When a creature you can see a text target other than you that's within five feet, you can use your action to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Ooh, yeah, I mean, that seems like his role, right? He's kind of a tank. I think protection is where I want to go. Defense would be useful, but... Prepare spells. Cure wounds, and so I have five I can pick. 
Protect magic. No, it's okay. Ally plus two. Protect versus evil and good. Interesting. Additional radiant damage for a limited time. Heroism. Cure wounds important. And bless. Bless sounds like... I'm gonna get rid of this and grab that. I know adding saving throws and attack weapons might be good, but pretty sure we're, we're okay on, on the bonuses. I want to make sure if we hit something really nasty, we can we can do good. So give us what? Have a disadvantage, can't charm or frighten or possess it. What is the specifics of bless? Plus one d4 to attacks. It's not bad. Okay, fine. I think maybe that was the right choice. <laughs> okay, validated. Done. All right, we're gonna level up uh, Aelin now. Love to cleric, nine hit points, 21 total, one additional hit die, one additional first level spell slot, so channel divinity, that's fine. Channel divinity turn undead, yep, yep, channel divinity preserve life, restore hit points, five X clerics level, so ten, I was in six cells, up there, half their hit point maximum, okay, cool. Don't need any, do we need to prepare your spells? I think your spells are already prepared, more or less. The cantrips are at will. Sacred flame. Be useful. Guiding bolt. Okay. What's the damage? Damage is it's forty. Wait, forty six? Really? No way. Hashtag nom. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I think it might be left over. Is that really forty six radiant? Holy crap! That's powerful. Yeah, give me that one. Cure wounds, and we get a, we can always cast domain spells, right? Yeah, it's always prepared. Yep. Good. Detect evil and good. Shield of faith. Protect. Okay, so we already have a protect spell. That's fine. So I feel even better about um, the choices I made with the other guy. Okay. Talion is a level two wizard. She's fourteen HP. Arcane traditions. Oh, cool. Spell slots. One first level. Two spells to pick. Arcane recovery. When you complete a short rest, you recover a number of expended spell slots. Max fifth level up to half your wizard level. Round it up. So. One. Okay, at least short rest we can get something back. Well, it seems pretty scary to do traditions already. Classes provide specialization when reaching a certain level in the class archetypes. Different names depending on their class. Arcane tradition for wizards, martial archetypes, yeah. Each archetype offers a set of abilities or unique flavor. Okay. Wow, this seems like it's a big decision early on. Green mage. Ooh. This would make sense for her since she's a Sylvan. So, like, flavor wise, this might be good. Spells from the Green Magic List considered wizard spells for you. Fairy Fire, Hunter's Mark, Good Berry. <laughs> I love Good Berry. It's a goofy spell. I mean, it makes a good berry. Detect poison and disease. Long Strider, Bark Skin, Pass Without Trace, Lesser Resto, Fine Traps, Create Food, Daylight. Okay. And you get Archery, which is interesting. And your Dex is. Her Dex is really high, actually. This could be quite good for her. Same advantage as the rangers in a forest environment. That's neat. Do you something better than that crappy shit? Your arrow can transform into a vine on impact. So we have magic arrow, of course. The target must make a... A magic missile, rather. The target must make a strength saving throw. Oh, this is with your bow. Okay. Or be restrained. What's restrained? Is that encumbered or is it held? What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, all uses recharge in the rest. You can use this feature a number of times equal to your intelligence mod. Ooh, we can use a four time. That sounds pretty cool. It's a good way for controlling uh, space. What does Lore Master give us? Keen Mind gives us Arcana History Investigation. And that's all Int, I think. Investigation is Int. History is Int, I believe. And Arcana, too. Uh, advantage to copy scrolls to your spellbook, which could be useful if you don't burn a, bad, a good scroll. Scroll and potion crafting costs are halved. Okay, when we have higher levels from this tradition. Learn one additional spell each time you gain level. Wow, that seems powerful. Though not in really as flavor for her. I might have to go like for flavor here. Even though it might not be optimal. I already built her like that. Uh, when casting comes from the war list, one level higher than you actually use. I mean, this is probably the strongest, honestly. Yeah. Plus one level to Burning Hands, Magic Missile, Fireball, etc. That's really powerful. Add your proficiency bonus and in bonus to your evocation spell damage. Jesus, that's strong! That is strong. So really, it's going to be between Green Mage or Shock Arcanist. Shock Arcanist is clearly the stronger one for what I want her to do, which is blow shit up. Um, but Green Mage... 
We get a proficiency for light armor, but the question is, would that still cause um, arcane spell problems? I wonder. Hmm. Good question. I don't know. This is interesting. I mean, I think this. I have to do this for flavor, though. She's. She's. I already did that without even knowing this was an arcane tradition, and then this perked up perfectly. So I'm gonna go green mage, even though I know the arcanist is stronger. It's fine. So select two new spells to learn. Oh boy. Okay. So level two. So fairy fire is in my list already because of my. Uh, Oh, I can learn. Okay, I see. <laughs> Good, very so crazy. Ally speed by two cells. Mage armor. Hunter's mark. That could probably be really good. Take poison disease. What's this? For the duration, you sense the poison location of poisonous creatures. That seems a lot less exciting than I would hope. <laughs> Honestly, charm person could be neat. Inflicts charm, save to negate. Yeah, this is basically pretty standard. I mean, I feel with her athletics check, the <laughs> feather fall might be necessary. But I think Hunter's Mark sounds really good, because it's going to really tie into her bow. But I need to get her a freaking bow at this point, then. And apparently she can use a short bow, that'd be sick. And I think this plus Goodberry, maybe. Or feather fall. Just because Goodberry is such a <laughs> such a good berry, it's 10 HP healing for free. I mean, we have a lot of heals to go around, which may, probably means our rests are going to be less important, which is fine. Um, I kind of have to take something from her specialist. I already did for Hunter's Mark, I guess. So I, I think Charm Person could be good. Yeah, no wisdom. I mean, I, I'm going to take Charm Person here. Uh, I don't know. Kind of almost want to take good berry. <laughs> I mean, it's good berry. All right, fine. I'm gonna take good berry. Fine. We're gonna go. We're gonna go full flavor here, and maybe I'll regret it. All right. Well, if, if we're not gonna prepare good berry, I'm I'm a bad human. There we go. Stop preparing shit that I don't tell you to prepare. Um, I'm probably gonna need to identify at some point. But we can always do that as a ritual later. Goodberry's fine. Let's... Oh, boy. I'm gonna probably take off sleep and put in identify. Because I don't know if we're gonna get some cool shit the first time. Validate, yeah. Alright, and then leveling up. Sorry, that took a while, but we had to, we had to pick a freaking, <laughs> freaking arcane legacy already. Oh, Jesus. Cutting action. Take an action. Bonus action. Each of your turns in combat. You to only take dash, disengage, or hide. I like it. Alright, he's pretty easy. Bog standard, baby. Alright, wow. That was that was complicated, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to get her a bow, though. Shit, I really need to get her a bow. No, everybody. Everybody. Everybody in the club get tits. Um, meet Karen. Buy some food for the journey. Okay. I don't need to do this. Visit the local store, make sure you got everything you need. Gorm's Emporium on Market Street. Okay, so we know where Market Street's right outside. Oh, you move while you have the window open. Good to know. Get me in trouble at some point. Um, it's Carol. Unknown drunk. How do we GTFO? Alright, you know, I'm not even bother finding the door. Just go here. Look, quests. Those quests here. Hugo Requa. Magic and curiosities. Crafting. Good ingredients and time. Alright. Uh, there's a lot of things to learn here. I hope you're enjoying the fact how deep this is already. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, next. Card tools to craft potions or herbalism. Scrolls or scroll kits. Poisoners or poison. <laughs> obviously. Chained weapons or Macallan rosaries. Okay. Next. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Need to now which ingredients? Limiting man is held by masters. Okay. Start crafting. Open a character's screen. Click on crafting. 
As you travel. Oh yeah, they can work slowly. Gotcha, gotcha. Hugo, what's up? Hello. How may I help you? What do you sell? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes. Ooh, recipes? <laughs> and ingredients too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back anytime. I'm almost always open. These candles are almost always burning. Personal wealth. Not so much. I'm at the pool. 74 gold. Wow, 74 gold. Wow. Oh, never mind. That's not much at all. What do you mean faction relation? I can't buy potions of healing. Because I'm not allied with the principality. Really? That's hilarious. Okay. Do you have you don't have food though. You're not a food place. This is just a bunch of other shit. Scroll kits. You can do scrolls, right? But you already have a scroll kit. Alright, cool. Angry Violet. Hello. Alright, anyway. Uh, clearly, clearly, this is out of my price range right now. Razor of Archer would be good. I need, I need a bow, but I'm not really... I'm very concerned that I'm not going to have finances to buy a bow. What up, Gorm? What's up, girl? Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Hey, gonna have some food? Are you Gorm? No. That's me, the one and only. <laughs> this is a stupid question. What do you got? Ah, this is better. That's so bizarre they don't want to give me the thing. Oh, you do actually have weapons. Cool. Oh, these are cheap. Wow, potions are expensive in this world. Damn. Wait, so what's your proficiency now? Your proficiency is... Why not? What's this? Oh, we're gonna pull it. It's, it's short boat? Ah, oh, crap. I forgot the green mage proficiency. Damn it! Well, <laughs> I feel dumb. Let me get some rations real quick. Uh, where's rations? There you go. Cleared. Good for the journey. Okay, so we'll reach Apples in a second. I gotta double check real quick her green mage proficiencies. Proficiencies. Uh, weapons and armor. From green mage, you get longbow. Right? God, I hope that's right. I should have paid more attention. Ah, no, she is. Longbow is fine. I'll get her a longbow. Yeah, I'll pick up a longbow. It's gonna be better. Do you have arrows? Jeez, this is all gonna be expensive. I'm so poor right now <laughs> that I'm just all yeah, I, Yes, Gorim, Gorim, Gorim. Skip, yeah. Um, where's. Are you Gorim? No, it's just Gorim's Emporium. I stole it. Arrows are cheap. Okay, it's fine. One for 20. Uh, let's get her pool. And we're gonna get you a longbow. So longbow proficiency. So you one d eight. Short bows give me what? Short bows are one d six. Gotcha. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna just quickly do this, and then I'll uh, jump back in a second. Deputies, a word if you. This please. just happened. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. <laughs> oh, right. Anyway. We offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. <laughs> well, That's a great answer. Of course you are, boy. <laughs> Scavengers, eh? I never knew if they were legit or not. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? Of course. It's not far, but I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. 
Yeah, no, I mean, there's money in it. I'll take a look. Um, so we're definitely going to visit the scavenger's headquarters. Um, but, so what I did, just to check, so she did get shortbow proficiency from Green Mage, but I think as a Sylvan Elf, she gets a uh, longbow. So I gave her a longbow, basically. We're poor now. But we got some arrows, and she's also a crafter um, for scrolls. She's the highest arcana. So I gave her, she learns how to craft a scroll magic missile and a scroll of uh, cure wounds. And she can also craft potions, but um, Aelin is the one who's proficient in medicine. So I gave her the healing potion crafting scroll, and then we can be, get there. We don't have all the components for this yet. Um, you're completely useless. <laughs> we have an extra scroll cure, and you probably sell that actually for good money. And you can't, you don't know any potion, poison recipes yet. But that's where we are now. Uh, I keep doing this with Talion, sorry. He's clearly becoming my, my uh, favorite character, honestly. she's. I'm so glad they had a really cool um, flavor thing for her. It's really neat. High Town exit, new waypoint added. Really? No, but what I want to do is find... Gather your party before venturing forth, I'm assuming. Yes? I'm trying to get to the Scavengers Guild. This might be toward the... Uh, this is no longer in the High Town. Oh, no, I don't want to go there yet. Arrow keys, explore the map, click a destination to plan your travel. Okay, cool. Slow places move cautiously, trying to remain hidden from monsters. No one pays faster, but riskier. Be dangerous. Very useful while in their preferred terrain. More food levels. Okay. She wish I had a ranger. But we do kind of have... No, we have the advantage of the ranger for the green mage. Ah, there we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Instead of your travel, you don't need to micromanage your party. Uh, long as we start immediately without finishing the day's travel. When the crafting task completed... Okay, wow. Cool. No, but I didn't mean to actually leave. I meant to find the frickin' outpost for the scavengers. I think they could be of use to us, which is the idea, so... Gotta figure out where it is, though. They kind of mentioned, I thought, that that was gonna be the objective for... the, uh, the scavengers guild. I guess we found the exit easily, so that's fine. Come on, now. Open the game. I want to know what's going on. Had a very, very... Lots of planning. I can't believe that level up made us make so many choices. I mean, this is exciting, but... Still, damn. Alright. So where the hell is this, um, scavenger thing? You. Track. Where is it? Bes it's beside the Gravekeeper's cask. Ah, oh, it's right there. Derpy derp. I thought it'd be actually like a building or something. It's just like a stall. You came. I came so hard. Curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. To you too. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the council in the marches, even in the badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ouch! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. <laughs> so let's Brick. say you find yourself <laughs> the writing's pretty with a good, actually. load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh! So we're puny as well. You are puny, great. shut up. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. Dope. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. No shit. What? You could never carry a dog. That's anyway. right. Not in your little backpacks. System not available in early access, but, but that's fine. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. <laughs> Bitch. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Fine. Free wow. To visit us anytime. <laughs> or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? And getting our people to care them. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands. 
with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. Duly noted. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. Yeah, I do like the vibe of this. I'm really enjoying this. Alright, uh, let's get out. Out is here, right? Yes. We're ready to go. We will all leave now. And Carolam is where we want to go. Yep. Yeah. We do wish to travel. Travel pace normal. Travel settings. Let's take a look. Yeah, we don't have anything to craft, but that's fine. Three days, two long rests required. Two? Really? Holy shit. Expenses filled the Let's just do normal for now. I don't go too crazy. Wounded dwarf mercenaries, no useful ingredients. Bird nest got some eggs. Oh, neat. Starts a game of cards. Of course I do. Benditos! Surprised? I thought we were supposed to be watchful. Alright, we're all surprised. Crap. Okay. We have been attacked by banditos. Very sad, but I'd say we are first fight. Rubber fight. We have another long rest, so we should go ahead and go crazy. Our initiative's gonna be crap here. Wow. Did we actually get initiative? Surprised. Um, cannot take any action in the first turn of battle. Don't hold back your spells and powers. Put all your strength. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. This lets your character wait for a specific condition. Oh, so this basically teaches you how to ready. That makes sense. In Crown of Magister, you can ready an attack depending on your character and equipment abilities. You move as a bonus action, so use ready action. End your turn. Gotcha. Okay. So we can't actually do anything, but we. Oh, we actually skip our first turn. Okay, so we can't even ready. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's gonna hurt. Oh no, she dashed? She dashed. Okay, that's fine. Jumping in on our mage, you prick. What do you have equipped? Do you have weaponry? I have dark vision, so I shouldn't have trouble seeing these. I don't have any puny humans, so. There's the guy. Yeah. Urs has crap initiative. Big surprise. So he's stepped off some. I'm armored. Now round two. Well, friends, you're about to have some fun. Hey, what happened to my... Oh, this is my bonus spell. That was my bonus action. Oh, I can cast... Why can't I cast those as bonus actions? Nice. Uh, I'm going to cast a proper spell. What happened to my other spells? Are they not prepped yet? Didn't I get? Oh, I don't have Thunder Wave prepped. Oh, I thought I had Thunder Wave prepped. Whoops. My bad. Evo. Uh, this guy with the the um, the two hander is kind of scary. Yeah, I, I kind of don't really want this individual in my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and Burning Hands his ass. Bro, spell effects look good. They look good. Wow. Yeah, keep your back there, it's fine. Can I control your facing? Maybe facing doesn't matter. I don't want to get opportunity attacks, I'm just going to let it go here. I can, I can cutting action disengage and backstab this guy. That might be the best action we've got. You moving next? You're 11. I'm just going to get a nasty swing. But this will at least prevent this guy from doing nasty shit to my face. Uh, we're going to cutting action... Disengage. Slip behind this brick. Get your rapier on. And attack him. Yep. You missed! You missed! You rolled a 10! Roll 4! You rolled a 4! XCOM! XCOM! Uh, yes, we're gonna block. That's what I had to hold the fence thing guy for. Nice. Critical miss. Good. That's what I want to avoid. Fade. Damn it, Fade. You had one job, Fade. 
You had one job! <laughs> Critical miss, okay. That was my bonus action. I can healing word real quick for as a bonus action, which I need to do. Because Talion got wrecked. Spell effects look good. Not forget this. Spell effects look good. Dude, I am digging the crap out of this. What do we have? Turn undead, preserve life. No, I need... Sacred Flame. I need this to drop before they get another action. I know Dorfy Poo over here is going to take a swing, but I can't do much about that. Actually, do we have... Hold on, do we have anything... Useful? Yeah, I burned a spell slot for that heal, but that's fine. Uh... I'm trying to think if there's anything useful I can do. I have my crossbow. Is that enough? What's my to hit on this? Has half cover. Why do they have half cover? Probably because they're behind somebody. Plus two to AC. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and, and use the radiant damage. I think that's going to be better. More dependable. Okay, that is the most evasive bandit I've ever seen. Deck save. DC 14, he rolled a 15. He's rolling high. He is rolling high. Okay. We need to start cleaving some people to death here because this is getting ridiculous. Just <laughs> divine favor, just break people. I just need to, I actually need to kill that guy. That's what I need to do. I don't need to land hands or anything, which is fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and beat him in the face. Please hit this guy. I don't need to smite him. That's a 22 for a hit. I'm pretty sure I can just kill him. Yeah. You cannot defeat me. Barely. Wow, our rolls are terrible. We just rolled a two on damage with a D8 longsword. <laughs> it's so bad. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, I'm going to need to probably... Let me just grab this for Talianze AC. Because I'm kind of worried about her. She's squishy. Shield of Faith is good. I like it. Alright, Talian, you've got some problems. You're surrounded by assholes. Um... <laughs> good, Barry? More burning hands? More burning hands, let's do it. Yeah. Scald you a bit now. Deck save failure, good, seven damage. Uh, and we're just gonna hold it for now. I really wish I could use my bow, but I'm in melee and that would just be a problem. Can I disengage cutting action already? Yeah, I'll get this back after a rest. I need to move aggressively here. Okay, let's try backstab again. Okay. Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? I might have done something wrong. No, no, I meant to attack. No, no. Did I use... No, I shouldn't have. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. What? Wait, did I get to attack? What happened there? I really tried to kill the mage. Good. Rolls a disadvantage. Lucky. I'm really trying to kill Talion. I'm so glad I gave her the shield. Whew. Okay, this is... Well, this game doesn't pull any fucking punches. This is ridiculous. Alright, you need to crossbow this bitch. Do you have half cover? No. This is fine. That's a, that's a hit. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. Alright, we gotta spread out a bit. Spread out and get ready to go. I guess I don't think... I don't think ang turning matters here. Does facing matter? I can't change facing, so it seems not to matter. I'm not gonna bother casting a bonus spell. This is fine. Yeah. Wow, just everyone wants to kill Talion. She is just a target. I mean, it makes sense. Killing the mage is definitely what you want to do. Alright. I'm gonna get some Divine Fury up in this bitch. Oh, it means you lose concentration. Oh, um... I'm gonna bank that I can kill this bitch, then. Yeah, that's fine. I'll happily lose concentration on that. Yes. So I wanna, I wanna smite. Smite hard. Yeah. 
No, that's a miss. Whew. Rolled a two. Oh, <laughs> you rolled a two. Awesome. God damn. Does this count for... Hold on. Does Hunter's Mark count for spells as well? When hit by the caster. It's unclear if that's hit with a physical attack or hit with a spell. Um, well, now we can actually use AoE Burning Hands. No, we can't, can we? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Go. Enjoy your Burning Hands! Successful deck saves. Alright. Well, they're rolling well. We're not. Okay. Fade. Can you hit something today? Thank God. Finally, that sneak attack's working. Right, the turn. Alright, do we have a decent shot, or can we just go up and club this dude? I think I'm just gonna go up and club this dude. Alright, girl. Get your shield and your weapon on, and beat him in the face. Club him. Club him. Oh, no. What do we roll? A five! We're rolling with D20s, right? Just, just checking. We are rolling with d20s. Oh, I'm so glad I have that defend up. Nice. They rolled two threes. All right, Urs, can you hit something today? There we go. Jesus. Rolls a wisdom survival check against DC ten. Rolls a one. Jesus. That's what happened. That was a night check failure. All right. All your characters receive the benefits as long as it's normal. Understood. Oh, my friend. Holy crap, that went badly. We missed some serious stuff. Wow. What do we have? Um, we got some silver, a light crossbow, a scimitar, some leathers, and rations. Ooh, the rations will be good. Ooh, a lot of rations. A moonflower. Scroll of Shield of Faith. I could sell some of this stuff for some good profit. Did my, am I wearing chain right now? I'm wearing chain, aren't I? Yeah. And a great sword if we wanted. And a gold piece. I'll take it. Encumbrance is light. We're going to start passing some of this around. I think there's another dead body here. And we'll grab all the goodies. Yeah, we'll loot. For now, we'll loot. Anything else here? Another one. Cool. So we'll pass some of this around to our other strong folks. So we can reduce your encumbrance a bit. The greatsword's really heavy though, isn't it? Probably. Why are you still encumbered? Is it the chain? Chain might be what's heavy. Yeah, the chain is what was really heavy. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of this Baldur's Gate stuff, right? Just reducing encumbrances. He's got a lot of weight to spare. The leathers, I think, is what's the heaviest. No encumbrance. No, still encumbrance. God damn. None. None. All right. Good. Resume the rest. Yes. Whew. Man, we we had some we had some bad rolls. We had some bad rolls. Ah. <laughs> uh. No more than eight hours a day and eat and sleep. Yep. Okay. No more eating. We interrupted. Yep. Understood. Okay, so we're still going. It's fine. Fatigue is going away. Horse has been spooked. No any food. No useful ingredients. Interrupt button. You can click on character's portrait. Open the inventory. Possibly start a new activity. Okay, got it. It's fine. Crafting anything. We get ambushed again, or we're actually gonna get there this time. Alright. All good. Whew, man, I tell you, that was that was a rough first fight. I mean, we were rolling like absolute 
abysmal bizzle, but okay. How many how many single digit rolls did we get? We had a lot. And we have a lot of bonuses to our rolls. So the fact that we just can't hit anything worth the damn is crazy. <laughs> we didn't die luckily, but god damn. That was some bad. Ooh, that place looks like it's been seen so that's worse KLM. for work. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? Well, didn't you say they didn't communicate for three weeks? That's kind of a fucking given. Anyways, here we are. Carolem is up the hill, and uh, we're about to see how bad things can get, and hopefully we roll better. For now, I've been Nurse. This has been Solasta, Crown of the Magister, our first proper episode. I think our crew is coming together well. Our XCOM rolls are full effect. I love it. All right. Till next time. Till then.